So Andy Northeast wants to know about your DJ equipment, and we've gotten a lot of questions about this. So if you could talk about you know what kind of decks or software you like to use when you're DJing. Sure, um, Andy, my man, my DJ equipment is uh, I take it very serious. Like that's a, a serious subject for me. I I, <laughs> I, I stay with turntables because um, I need that art form. So I got the um, two TTM. I, mean, I got the two um, Technic 1200s. The M5Gs are the best. The black ones, the blue LEDs. I like that. And um, for a mixer, I use the Rain um, TTM57. It's got Serato built in it. And um, that's the software I use, Serato, on my laptop because um, it allows the DJ to still um, use vinyl, which I love. And um, so I'm never losing the art form, but it houses all my music and it organizes all my music. So I'm not lugging crates anymore because I don't think you can get crates of records on the airport and through security. So Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that you used vinyl, actually. Yeah. How many records do you have? Um, I got a record collection of thousands uh but you don't use them anymore because we use the serato records a blank record uh, okay. and the music's on the uh the laptop so like serato is like the best thing that could ever happen to a dj a yeah. traveling dj anyway yeah definitely that's cool though all right next question um this is a good one i'm curious about actually from t bean mom she says <laughs> i don't know what that she's means. A, she's the best she's a good fan <laughs> oh, really? she tweets me a lot what's, what's up girl <laughs> All right, good. Well, I'm glad we picked this one. Um, she wants to know, everyone seemed to have visitors on the show, like Vinny had his family, mm -hmm. uh, Mike had a sister. Will you ever have friends or family visit you? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, for me, it's, it's, it's a lot harder because um, I live in Rhode Island, and most of the guys, they either live like in New York or New Jersey. It's, uh, it's a lot closer to them for their families to go. Um, just like shoot right over to the shore. So like I live like three hours away from the shore, three, four hours away. So that's mm -hmm. why I didn't have them come. But um, who knows what's to happen in uh, season three? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, you have your, your own show that was just announced. Uh, you're the first cast member to get a spinoff. Yes. Is it Polly's World or is it not? Um, not no, we don't really have a name for it. It's just a okay. project that um, I'm, like, so happy to just to, to do and to be working with MTV again and, um, like, 495 Productions. They're so great to me. Um, I, I'm excited. I'd love to do it. Yeah. So we mm. might get a little taste of, you know, more of your personal life. Yeah, because it would be, show. like, a, the concept would be, like, my DJ life before and, and what I was doing before the show, during the show, now after the show, and maybe bring along like an entourage of my friends and, and see the, the crazy antics and yeah. the, the things we get ourselves into. Okay. But no info yet on when you're shooting or what Correct. Yeah, no, they didn't give any info for that yet. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, and DIII has a Vado wants to know, you met Brittany in the studio yes. with, um, in the fall. And he wants to know if you've um, worked on her album or if you've heard any of the tracks or anything um, like that. Brittany's awesome. Uh, we have the same management. That's yeah. how we, um, we meet a lot. And her album is amazing. Like, I can't even believe it. Like, I will be playing her tracks in the club. Um, they're so good. Like, so good. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. They're so good. I think uh, this is going to be one of her greatest albums. Yeah. Is it kind of like what we've heard before? Or um, like I said, how everybody's like um, staring towards that dance and everything like that. Yeah. So she's like right there. Like I could literally take that album and play it in the club. And that's how I judge like good music of, is where I'm going to play. Like, all right, I'll play that in the car or I can play that in the club. I can yeah. definitely play her stuff in the club. Yeah. Although she has some, some tracks she play in the car too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nessa... KK fan 10 wants to know, does Polly still get along with the situation? Because sometimes it seems like they don't anymore. Oh, so. no, no. We, we definitely still get along. <laughs> um, yeah. Just, uh, I like to go out and do my thing. And um, as far as, like, using him for a wingman, I probably won't do that because he wasn't that good at that. He was, like, yeah, eating, no. eating a sandwich while I was hooking up with a chick. So <laughs> no more wingman for the situation. But, um, I mean, we, we still keep in contact. Um, he's got a lot of stuff going on. So yeah. um, I support him in that. And uh, he supports me in my stuff, too. Yeah. So. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Um, and Barbara09 wants to know, what do you miss about your pre-fame life? Um, I, I, I like my life now. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, I mean, you do miss, like, I, honestly, um, it sounds weird to say, but I can't leave the house, like, alone anymore. Yeah. So I can't, like, run to the store anymore because you're getting bombarded, but it's not, like, people that want to, like, beat you up or anything. It's just, like, girls or... or guys that want to take pictures and photographs, which I don't mind doing, but sometimes it gets out of hand and you right. can't control the crowd. So I just have to have somebody with me to control it. Right, right. Do you, so like even if you're doing GTL, basically you have to Yeah, I try to sometimes I'll sneak away, maybe like get a haircut, I'll do that alone. But even that's starting to get a little crazy now. Yeah. Yeah, they come into the barbershop, they'll like see my car or, or, or something. So. Yeah.